Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Orient the Will of the Wisps, where last time, well, we made significant progress in acquiring the third of the wisps, the strength of the forest, but we also suffered a great loss in Quolok. One of the last, well, not quite the last, there is still Bar hanging around here, or Baur, <laughs> or however you want to call him. Um, but yeah, definitely one of the last great spirit guardians or guardian spirits or whatever of this land. So yeah, even when we eventually revive the spirit tree and hopefully defeat the corruption or the decay for good, uh, well, that's not going to bring him back unless it somehow magically does, which I kind of hope for, but who knows. For now, let's see if anyone has anything to say on the matter. Squark. I've said before that this land has fallen far, but this is the first time I've really felt it. Warlock was more than just the guardian of Inkwater Marsh. He gave us hope that we could stop the decay, or at least slow it. Now, that hope's with you and the Wisps. Good luck, spirit. Hmm. Squark. Well, I'll try doing my best. You know, Spirit, for a moment there, I really thought things were taking a turn for the better. For some hope left Niwen along with the spirits of old. Warlock, he held on and saved so many. I'll do my best to carry on his work, but it feels lonelier now. I will miss him. Yep, me too. Uh, yes, I do, actually. And, well, I, I'm so interested in what this Gorlek touch actually does. Finishing touches, but it, it really feels like I should save that for last time. Construct the last dwellings first. Fantastic, I'll get right on that. Okay. Well, that's a hut I can enter, that's good. Done. Feels great to be building again, spirit. Well, the bad news is that uh, there's really nothing else to build at this point. Hello? I hear Moldwood Depths is dark. Dark like night. Oh, you mean dark as in requiring some sort of some sort of light source? I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of spiders. Yeah, especially spiders in the dark. Spiders that you can't see. I mean, I usually say spiders that I can't see don't really bother me that much. Not as much as a spider running right across my desk or something, but... Uh, when you know there's tons of spiders around you in the dark, that's not exactly comforting. Anyway. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're still just as... Uh, as negative as before. Oh, you're actually wearing that hat thing. Do you? Yeah. Um, okay, cool. I guess it's... It doesn't look as terrible as I thought. Uh, <laughs> you're wondering why I do not have my... Why I do not leave my cape with my nice ha uh, nice and shady hat. Not a particularly particularly shady head, too. By the way, but I'm working up the courage. That is all. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Hey, Mote. I saw what Shriek did to your friend. Oh, yes. It's... Um. Sure. Still something. Hmm. Probably to do with the ability that we'll end up getting in Moldwood Depths. That we don't have a statistic about yet. Uh, okay. Oh, we're definitely getting there in terms of completion, but that makes sense. We're we are at about sixty percent overall game completion. Yeah, actually, it uh, tells us right here. Hmm. Death by hazard. Yep. No surprise there. Times drowned. Well, surprisingly low number, but of course, we're never gonna drown again. <laughs> and there's that damage taken. Uh, Enemy slain. Life regenerated. Hmm. Well, I mean, most of these numbers are mostly meaningless, but... Take a single attack, yeah. Like, for example, damage values. Since you don't really see enemy health or your own damage numbers, it's interesting to know that the highest hit I ever dealt apparently was 43, but... What's that really worth? <laughs> Who knows? Um... Yeah, well, anyway, this is all, all nice, but obviously not very meaningful. Bar is awake! Uh, well, yes, for a while now. 
It is true he remembers everything for... Is it true he remembers everything for everyone? There are some days I would like to remember. Well, uh, go ahead and visit him, maybe? I don't know if that's how it works. But other days, I would like to forget them. I will not visit him right now. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, was this open before? Maybe? Oh, but there definitely was no one inside. I've met many Moki here. We carry Quarlock's wisdom with us. Every night we tell his stories. Of the light, and the marsh, and the decay. And of a spirit who came to help. That one is my favorite. Oh, thanks. That is nice. Not just because I'm the hero of the stories, but, you know. Oh, this is closed. I wonder if that's going to open eventually. It is I, Mock the Brave. Yeah, uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Ferocious Howl, sure. Still the same. Yeah, this is the one that was recently constructed, so... I cannot wait to go out and explore more. Or maybe I will stay here and tell other Moki about my exploring. Mm, yes, that's a much better idea. Uh, okay, sure. Whatever suits you. I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to collect your money. Of which we actually have a lot. Come to think of it. Um, okay, so the map is not changed. I wasn't looking at the map before. Or if I opened it, I wasn't paying attention. But it probably would have showed me the spirit light right here that I just collected. Hmm. It seems like this really is the only thing that got added with the latest upgrade. Which is kind of a bummer for, you know, the huge or cost, but obviously we had to complete it eventually. <clears throat> um, well, I do have a lot of money. I could go ahead and buy those maps. We'll check out the skill trainer before I do that, just in case there's anything interesting left. I mean, interesting or not, I guess I still want to get these things eventually. Might as well buy this too. At least give it a try. Spirit Star. Yeah, let's, let's see how that works. I mean, I have an idea. Also, is this new? I can't tell now where I have and haven't been. Yeah, no, I definitely have been here. Ooh, interesting that these things respawn and they give you a fair amount of spirit light, actually. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Well, honestly, I wasn't really paying attention to uh, how much I was getting exactly, but... Anyway, um, free money is free money. Now, where is the thing? Oh, here. Spirit Star. Yep. Okay. Oh, you can angle that. Or is it... No. Okay. But only... Wait. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to... Always go in, uh, like, 45 degree... Uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah. Mm, or maybe not, I don't know. Maybe that's more like, uh, yeah, okay, actually. That's, that's more an issue of, uh, or by virtue of my uh, control stick only being so accurate. Right. I mean, it's neat, but do I really need it? It's a, it probably deals more damage than, than Spirit Arc. It also takes uh, more energy to use. It doesn't take a lot, um, but it has limited range, of course. Whereas this, I can just you know, shoot across the screen. And then, of course, there's uh, Light Burst, which doubles as both an attack and uh, an important traversal mechanic. So, yeah, I think I'm going to stick with that for now. Let's see here. A few projects, yeah. Uh, sticky situation. Um, oh, is that going to put blue moss on places? I'm not surprised you found this seed so far away. Feel how sticky it is. Grass grass seeds hitch what grass seeds hitch rides on passersby to find fresh soil. Okay. Well, let's get started. Yeah, okay. I mean is it necessary? No, not really. I've been able to reach every, absolutely every part of this place a long time ago. But it's nice. It's nice to have all these plants around. In my youth, I once sprinkled grass stalks on my brother in his sleep. I underestimated their stickiness. My poor mother spent hours trying to remove the tangles. Oh. Okay, nice story. No harm done. 
Well, except to your brother, but then. It's fine. Um, right. Now, the main question is... Do I upgrade something? Even though I'm not really seeing myself using any of these? Tap to pause the Spirit Star's flight and spin it in place. Oh, okay. Hmm, that sounds... Huh, depending on how long that lasts and how much, how much damage that deals. It seems like uh, the boss and big enemy killer, if you can place that right on them. That makes me think of, uh, of that uh, exploit with some or one of the old Mega Man games where you like pause the game while your spark shot, I think, or whatever it's called, electricity bolt, uh, is overlapping the enemy sprite and it somehow... And then uh, while you keep the game paused, it's still ticking damage every single frame or so, and then you unpause and the enemy just explodes because it applied all that damage. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that, except obviously in, a, in an intentional and probably not quite as overpowered way. I mean, it sounds interesting, but I don't really see myself using it, that's the thing. So maybe it would make more sense to actually invest in, uh, in the maps. So at this point, I've, I have fully mapped out a bunch of areas, and I'm missing something, some kind of collectible in most of them. In certain words, yeah. As a matter of fact, all maps are exciting. Yeah, I think we've heard this before. Oh, wait. Spirit shards. Did we have all three options before? I want to say that we only had two, but maybe he always had the revealed shards. Uh, of course, those aren't typically that well hidden, and it's more of an issue of, uh, of reaching them. But who knows, maybe I'm missing a couple of them. Um, of course, what I what I really need is uh, is probably a map of all the various spirit chart uh, spirit light containers. That's I mean I'm guessing that's mostly what I'm missing. Uh, and I can't even afford both of these. I mean b between energy cells and life cells, I probably want more life cells first. Not that it really matters, and since I am getting everything, but let's just see. I'm just curious how much I've been missing, basically. Oops, uh, don't zoom out quite that far. Huh. Well, <laughs> okay. That is uh, both reassuring and... Okay, hmm. Yeah, it shows me the ones in areas that I haven't even been to yet. Yeah, this one I've, I haven't really explored. Or this one, of course. Oh. And I guess this is just a place I wasn't able to get to. So, yeah, well... Now I... Knowing that, I kind of regret having... Having gotten the map, hmm. because it basically confirmed, well, what I what I hoped was true that I had collected pretty much everything. Well, yeah, absolutely everything, at least every cell in the areas that I have explored, uh, and it's just spoiling the locations for areas that I have yet to explore. Right, so that's. Um, and I wish I could just uh, could deactivate those, but I don't think that's. An option. Fil wait. Filter, quests, warps, collectibles. Hmm. Cannot. I cannot just deactivate those. Warp spots, collectibles. Hmm. Yeah, no. It's it's okay. It's fine. Unless I can deactivate them by talking to you. No. That's okay. As I keep telling myself. <clears throat> so, yeah, who knows what I'm missing. I'm, as I said, I'm, I'm guessing I'm mostly missing, um, you know, hidden areas. Like, not on the map areas. With um, mostly spirit light. And how and how I'm ever going to find those, I have no idea. I guess I will eventually just re-explore old areas and you know try to be as uh, as thorough as I can. And hopefully, I'll end up find ev finding everything. Well, for now, I'm gonna, as you saw, I'm gonna travel back over here and get that. Uh, pesky spirit light that uh, I know about that I wasn't able to get before. Hmm. Oh. 
Am I supposed to use this projectiles? Maybe. Maybe I was. Ow. Um. Okay. <laughs> if it works, it works. Ouch, right here. Oh. Okay, ooh. Still pretty pretty close, even with that skill. Okay. Now that's yep. 96%. So like one more thing to find somewhere around here. I mean of course I only bought the life cell fragment map. So it's definitely possible that I missed an energy cell fragment somewhere, or even even a, a shard. Although, yeah, it seems unlikely that I missed any of those big collectibles, right? Anyway, maybe that's just what I want to think, what I want to believe. I guess I'll make my way over to Qualog's old place, visit Ku's resting place, finish that quest, and then start making my way down toward the dark, spidery depths. Well, of course, not without taking silly and unnecessary damage along the way. Just because it's something I do. Perfectly mistimed my all of my effects there. Okay, sure. Oh. Right where I wanna go, up or down. Uh, down looks about right. Where things get super dark. Oh, <laughs> oh. I uh, almost did not see her. <laughs> or, I mean, I did not see her at first. What? Can, can I please talk to the Moki? Okay. We Moki are the. Sh we, what? We Moki are sad. Shriek hurt the little owl. We are sad that Qualloc is gone too. We are not sad that you are trying to help, but we are worried. Okay. You go. We will watch her. Thanks. Yeah, and this is where Kolop was hanging out, isn't it? Oh. Okay, I guess we placed it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see it there at first. That's bigger than I thought. Hmm. Okay. Is that uh, quest complete now, or...? I guess so. So we didn't really get any kind of reward for that. Oh well. Um, I must have been down here. Even though it looks kind of dark, yeah. Ouch. Here. Okay, apparently I have been up here at some point. Ah, oh, yes, okay. I vaguely remember this place. Oh, wait, this is closed. Yeah, of course. That's the gate that we couldn't get past. Hmm. Where's the, the switch that we need to press or. How do we open that? It did not open automatically as we approached it. Which was my... Well, one of my assumptions. Huh? I thought I landed on, on something here. No, oh, maybe not. I think this is where we first got bashed, right? Yeah. Must be. Okay, uh, hello. Please let me through. There's supposed to be a guardian here, a stone guardian, but I can't even get to that guy. To ask for, to ask to be let, let in. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You explode. Oh. Oh. Wait. Was this here before? Excuse me. I would have seen that, right? And I would have been able to do that too. Maybe I just didn't see it. Oh wow. Huh. I guess I just didn't fully explore this place or something. 
That seems silly. I mean, I, I don't assume that just popped up suddenly. They could have just... They could have uh, used something requiring an ability I didn't have until later in the game. And that up there? I guess even now it took me a moment to, to even see that, so... I guess I can't believe that I missed it earlier when I came here for the first time. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is gonna be um, a life sale, yep. So, uh, yeah, I definitely could have gotten that a long time ago. Hmm. Oh, right. I read one. No, don't. Just be a little bit more patient with these guys. It's not that hard. Oh, are you the stone guardian? Oh god, that is a, definitely a stone spider in the background there. Thankfully, it seems to really just be a statue. When darkness came, Moki came to check the mobile depths, but the gate was closed. Uh-huh. Now Qualok has sent us to open it for you, because a light was lost inside. A light like yours. Little light. Lonely light. It is dark, but maybe you can find it, if you shine bright enough. Hmm. Oh, those are levers, huh? Come on. <laughs> Ugh, not ominous at all. We will wait for you. Keep out of the darkness. It skitters. Ugh, it bites. Oh no. Don't say those things. Oh, hold on. How do I get high enough? Do I get momentum for... traveling... More distance upwards? Hmm. Oh, oh, oh um, okay, sure. <laughs> I guess I'll grab this real quick. Splinter. Uh, okay, spirit arc shoots split into... What? Spirit arc shots split into smaller projectiles. Do I want that? Hmm, I don't know. It's uh, That seems mostly useful against multiple smaller enemies, which I'm rarely ever fighting let alone at a distance, so I don't know if that's particularly useful. Uh, how would I get that? I'm not traveling up particularly quickly, so... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't suppose I can chain multiple of these projectiles together? Oh. Already, I was not able to. Hmm. And it might have something to do with whatever ability I'm gonna end up getting here. Honestly, I have no idea, unless it's just uh, the uh, the lantern equivalent, basically. I guess that could be. That's just the light source that I'm gonna be getting here. Oh. Hmm. Wait. Shouldn't this work? Theoretically. Nope. I... Hmm. It's weird. Sometimes the game just does not allow me to use my fireball to grapple. Just like before in the uh, the Luma pools. Huh. This feels like something I should be able to get. But there's like absolutely nothing. Nothing to grab, nothing to use as a platform or to gain any more height. Unless I can somehow... Strengthen this this airflow. Well, I guess for now I'm gonna go down all the depths. Oh god, it does skitter. It's not particularly dark yet, which is uh, appreciated. And the things that are skittering also do not appear to be spiders so much as some sort of cicadas or something. Ouch! What? What was I even trying to do there? That's not how anything works. Yeah. <laughs> That's more like it. Oh, those things are moving? Why? <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. Hmm. 
Okay. Wait. That was just his... <sighs> Normal explosion. My god, why am I so, so incredibly clumsy? Super annoying. Oh, there's something up here that we can grab like this. Otherwise, I could have used an energy, uh, energy? enemy projectile. One shot by his own ability. Oh, what the heck? Well, that's new and slightly disturbing. Uh, let's hope that's not... <laughs> I don't know what that is. I, I guess it's some, something like, a, like an anemone-like creature. Um, wait, can I... What? I grabbed that. And then... Oh, and then I can technically use that... The stalk, yeah, to walk on. Okay, it's another hidden section, actually. Okay, those things are weird. And slightly gross, but mostly weird. Oh, no. What are you in the background there? This is what the eyes are... Wait, there is something living in the background, right? I thought that's what the camera focused on, but maybe not. Uh, this is where the eyes of the forest sank into sightless night. These woods were always dark, but the decay made their darkness deeper and more dangerous. Great. I mean, again, it's not particularly dark quite yet. Uh, what is that? That egg over there. <laughs> what the heck is this? Huh? Oh. Oh, it's a good thing. It's a little light bug. You are definitely a spider. Oh, okay, and I accidentally killed you. Nice. Wait. Oh, this, this is the kind of dark that's gonna hurt me. Good. Because, yeah, as soon as I cross a certain, uh, certain threshold, controller is starting to shake, which means I'm taking damage. Okay, I need two keystones here. Where are they? Don't know yet. Hmm. Oh god, what the heck? Is this... Is this thing alive, or is it just the... Oh. Oh, these light bubbles. Okay. These are areas of safety. So I'm not taking damage or not slowly dying while standing here. The thing is... Uh, can I make it to the next one? Yeah, I can. Okay, their light is also protecting, I think blue light? Let me confirm that. If I could, please? Okay, the game does not want me to grapple onto that. That's fine. Fair enough. Obviously, I'm gonna be okay. Uh, this is... This is something. Oh, even their light is protecting me. This is so weird. Why would the enemy... The, the presence of the enemy protect me from the darkness? That makes no sense, actually, but I guess I'll take it. Um... Thank you. Okay, there's a key fragment. Wait, but isn't there something over here? No, maybe not. Uh oh, don't. Oh god. Oh god. I was supposed to grab those. I'm dead, probably. I don't know. Maybe. Heal? Help? Oh. Huh. Surprisingly, it seems like I can actually make my way back out this way without the. Nice light fly. Oh god. Please grab that. No? Okay, good. Okay. New enemies. Those weren't here before, were they? Did I just mindlessly kill them? I don't know. Well, that's a uh, <coughs> interesting run button. No problem, though. Okay, spider. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <clears throat> right, uh, well, that was one. So, obviously, the next one is going to be in this dark section. Oh, okay, spiders also have light. Of course they do. I guess everything that's living down here must have a built-in light source that protects them from the deadly darkness. Yeah, I thought I saw this thing flying off in this direction. So let's see. Yeah, in fact, there are no stationary 
light sources, it seems. So I need this guy here. Okay, and they eventually flicker and run out, I see. Ooh, there's something down there. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm, I'm dead, okay. Didn't realize I, I spent enough time in the dark already looking at the thing. Uh oh, okay, and now we're actually back out. That wasn't quite as bad as I thought it might be. Okay, open that. I really hope I get that uh, light source ability relatively soon, though. We'll see. Oh god, get more darkness over this way. That means we can really only go in this direction. Can I please be on the right side of the thing? Weird, I cannot jump through that at all. Okay, slightly awkward. Oh, um, I want to pull that out. Thank you. Then probably wait for it to retract, or is there something in the ceiling again? No, I guess not this time. I suppose I'll just take some spike damage then, as I, as I do. Or you know what? Maybe let me heal first. Uh, I should be able to use that guy's projectiles, actually. Yeah, it's okay. I can just sit here. Actually, yeah, his <laughs> this this caterpillar is making things very very awkward. There could be something in the ceiling here that I was supposed to use his projectiles to reach. Hmm. Possible for sure. Or I could use my fly friend. Hello, fly friend. Uh, I mean, there is a pretty large opening in the ceiling, but doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, okay. Ah, yes. I've... That's what killed uh, that one hive that one time. I was wondering about that. The fire damage, of course. Now I know that... Uh... Huh. Now I know that... Uh... The fireballs do leave a damage over time effect. Hmm. Okay, so... We unblocked this, but we still... Still not open. Hmm. Wait, wait, can you please grab the thing? Oh, there's. Hmm. There. Something up there, or is that, again, just light shining through? Uh, I don't think there's anything. Although I can. Oh! Grabbed something here for a second. Well, it's it's okay. Oh. Oh, I allow light to shine through. What does that do exactly? Oh, I know what it does. That is clever. Now we can actually go down here. Because now there are areas of light where I'm not gonna die. That is amazing. Okay. Very nice. Oops. Um. Oh no! He cleverly and deftly dodged my attack. You know what? Ah, okay. Never mind. Maybe I do need his own projectiles. There we go. Yep, that allows us to go here and further this away. Wait, I'm. Definitely supposed to use these guys to reach up here. Isn't, isn't there something up here? No. I guess not. It's fine. And it looks like a single fireball is actually enough to burn the hive. It's gonna take end up taking enough fire damage after that. Okay, buddy. You think you're very clever. And you are, but you're also dead. <clears throat> okay, or I suppose I could have used this to easily get up there. Yeah, yeah, never mind. 
<laughs> Surprised they gave you two different options there. Uh, you probably should take a break somewhere, but I mean... I also kind of want to keep going. This is not the most pleasant area, but it is very fascinating and plays quite differently from everything so far, which is always nice. Um, Uh-oh. Where is light? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not here. Hmm. Was there a way to know what way was safe? Oops. I did not uh, expect the projectiles to come out when they did. Nope. Hmm. I suppose technically this is safety. Yeah. And this... Okay. Hmm. So, was I not supposed to go down that way yet? I don't know. Maybe to the left would have been safe. But, um... I don't know. Taking a leap of faith when there's really no indication as to what way is not instant death. Doesn't seem like what I'm supposed to do. Really? That was enough to kill me? Oh, okay. Grab. Grab. Thank you. I guess I didn't spend enough time in the actual light. The actual blue light. Oh, this is... Okay. It's gonna open from the other side. Ah. Perfect. Well, I'm gonna take this as a sign. There's another thing in the background that looks like it's a creature. It also, it even looks like it's moving? I don't know, I can't tell if it's just the background being a little bit wobbly or... Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's a giant insect. Maybe it's dead, maybe it's alive, who knows? Anyway, um, I'm gonna take a break here. And things happened. Uh, the episode started a bit slow, I suppose, but... Yeah, this area is um, more interesting than I thought. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a lot darker, but, oh, of course it is, it does have areas of this extreme deadly darkness, but in, uh, you know, the other places, it's just as beautiful and, yeah, beautifully designed as everything else in the game, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, so, yeah, definitely interesting, and a lot less spider uh, infested than I thought. <laughs> it's, or it's, it's worrying me, bothering me, as uh, a lot less than I thought. Not that I was really thinking it was going to bother me that much, but you know. Uh, anyway, enough rambling. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.